Hello survivors, I am the survival this, and welcome back to our long dark series. So we're picking up where we're pretty tired, but we're doing pretty fine regardless actually. So I think all we're going to do first, no, oh, let the game load properly a bit there. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll just head to bed first. We're pretty tired, so we'll drop off what supplies we can here. Ooh, 14 of those. Definitely have enough for those bandages. We'll drop that inside so that can start curing here. And we'll just head on up and take a nice sleep. It is starting to get towards sunset, so we should be... Uh, we might be a little hungry, though, eh? You know what? Just so that way, if we do wake up in the middle of the night needing some food, we'll just bring some of the stuff we got with us up. So, we'll take some soda. We'll cook all that nice meat we got at the last one later. And I think we'll take a uh, half a kilogram of water. There we go. So let's head off and get a little sleep. The plan for today, I think, is going to be explore a little bit more around Milton and maybe look at seeing if we can find a way out of the region. I didn't want to look up a map to find out how to do it, just so that way we kind of have more of the true survival experience of trying to find our way around. So we'll sleep for eight hours. Just settle on in there. Floorboards creaking in there, and we're probably yeah we're starving and hungry. So what I think we'll do is we'll just start with the soda. Ah, eh, we'll have some of the stale crackers, and I think we'll have the rest of that box. And now all we gotta do is just enjoy the water we've got, and then we should be able to sleep for the rest of the night. There we go. So we are at four days, nine hours at the moment. I think we'll sleep for another five. That should be enough to get us to Mord's morning so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, we're fully rested. We're pretty good on our meters. And it looks like it's just getting towards sunrise now. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to take out the lichen and we're just going to look at crafting some of those bandages up. I'll just use that to make sure we got a little more light out before we start exploring some more. And I think maybe just how many more? Ah, we'll do the full two of them. That way we have them all on us. And just before we head out, we'll get ourselves a little bit of something to eat and drink. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll try bringing everything from the farm over here today. Just because if we are going to head out of the region, it doesn't make much sense to leave everything out there. And there we go. It has been a couple of days too, so those things are going to be further cured. Although we don't have the workbench here, that's right, huh. Um, maybe we'll keep exploring around the town. Yeah, so it's only one cold, so that's not bad. We do have four flares, so that's nice. And we are pretty light, I'm sure. If I can just... Oh. Not, I heard something else, but... Well, we still have a bit of weight with us, actually. Because we don't have a workbench here, maybe we will leave all of our stuff curing at the other house. I think... No oh, crap. I hear him, but... Oh, there he is. I'm surprised he's able to pick us up that easily. Well, I'll stop inside for a moment, see if we can lose a little more weight. I was not expecting him to be right... On us like that. They will seek you out and hunt you down. Oh, we'll put those in. Uh, oh, we do have the rifle. Yeah. 
we did deal with the three, but you know what? If we do want to go back for our things, I think it'd be better if we leave that here. Put those in. Actually, I think I trans... Oh, no. There's charcoal there. Was it... I thought I transferred something over. Was it stones, maybe? I don't know. Anyway... We'll put the firewood there. We do need more firewood, so we'll probably have to look at going out and collecting that. I'd rather not have to deal with that wolf too much, but it's not really worth it breaking stuff down here for the reclaimed wood. It doesn't really burn long enough to make it worth it. I mean, we do have all the food we could really ask for with having that deer carcass. Maybe we'll try going around a bit, see if we can find some down limbs or something. I know up there was pretty free of the wolves, so we may head up there to do a little bit more. Although I'd prefer to show you guys some new areas if I can, so we're always making some little bit of progress. Maybe we'll try heading towards the gas station. I know once the, sur the story mode kicks in, there's probably going to be a bit of re going over the same things. I think just so that way we can keep the series going until we do swap over towards that mode. We'll just explore what we can. Yeah, so nothing really from the looks of it so far. It is only a little chilly out, so that's pretty good. Thank goodness. Made it through another night. Oh yeah, I guess we did, eh? Oh, there's my Canadian showing. We did, eh? I don't know what you're prancing on, a boot. Oh, hello. Oh. I guess if you live up to Canadian, stere Canadian stereotypes in a Canadian game, you get rewarded for it. Chocolate wonder if this bar. is anything to eat. Oh, new sprint roll. Yeah, we'll head out. I don't think we'll go breaking into any of the trunks quite yet. Yeah, that way... Ah, uh, you know what? We're going to go off the beaten tray a little bit. Just because I do want to find some more firewood, and I never really actually explored too much around the area. I did know the radio tower was up there, and I do know what's over that area, but I don't really actually know what's through here. How long would it take to break this down? Only five minutes, but I prefer to find an actual limb. Like, those branches are okay in a pinch, but if I'm going to be walking around and trying to find firewood, I want some proper firewood. Oh, the arch. Fitting name, I suppose. Some more rocks, just in case we come across any rabbit. Or any rabbits. We'll harvest the rose hips. Eight of those. More of those. And we will take a little bit more lichen. Well, a lot of deer in this area. Okay, yeah, so this actually was just kind of a little side cut towards another area that leads off. No wolves around here. So, yeah, there's the gas station in the distance there. I just want to explore the outskirts a little bit. I've never really been around and able to see some of the surrounding perimeter of it. Oh, I think that might actually be a fallen limb. Yeah, this is a cedar limb. Oh, we will break that down. It did get a little chilly, but I think the firewood will be worth it. Yeah, we'll keep going with what we find. Because we're not doing too bad for hydration or hunger. So well, that's the first time I've heard a wolf howl like that in game, and I see one two way off there, I think. This, yeah, this will definitely be the last one we'll get, and we're going to make our way home now. Oh, wind picked up quite a bit. But with the firewood, that'll easily let us come through some of that medicine we freezing. have. Yeah, I know we're freezing, buddy. It's kind of how things go when you're up in Canada in the winter. Uh-oh. I heard that. I don't know where that is. 
and try to head back for the arch. But I heard that and I don't know where it came from. The deer weren't spooked, so that's something kind of odd. It didn't seem to be that they were worried or nervous until I started getting to work. So it makes me think maybe it was just a sound effect or something. We'll just be careful and make our way back. Oh, that's just our stomach rumbling. We still don't have anything that's too really scent strong, so I don't think they'll be able to really come after us that easily. Not unless we surprise one or there's one lurking around a corner in the town. I think we'll just stick to the outsides of the town to make it back towards the house, and we should be just fine. That's one thing the long dark will really, really do, is keep you on your toes and make every decision you make feel like a true make or break sometimes for you. Each one also has that kind of weight of consequence so you know you feel the real mad, the choice is you make do mad. Ugh. I'm getting a little flustered because I keep hearing the wind going and things rattling. I keep thinking there maybe the, a wolf. I might be a little overprotective right now of them. It's just what I can really put up with and handle, but I still just want to be that extra bit cautious. I've had it in so many survival games where one little thing goes wrong and then it'll just snowball like nuts on you. Well, we made it back to the house without much problem. We did get a little cold because of being out cutting the firewood. But I think that's not a problem. We can, oh yeah, we're chasing that off really easily. I think we'll do the same setup we had. Just toss in some of the firewood. Yeah, we have nine pieces, so that'll keep the fire going for quite a nice while. Put that there. Put that keep doing what its thing there. I don't think we want to do a fire yet. I think we'll do it more in the evening. That way when there's really nothing else to do, we can just cook and let things go along. Anything I want to take out or put in? Um, I think I should be all right. Um, no, I think I should be all right. I think all we'll do is get ourselves some more water and something to snack on, and then we'll head back out. Yeah, we'll try the chocolate bar and a couple of things of soda. Not exactly eating our healthiest out here. But once we start cracking into the the venison we got stored up, well, we're going to be just fine. And we'll drink that just to have. There we go. And we'll head out again. And we'll head back in. Because I don't like the wind chill. I didn't let us warm up as much as we probably should have, considering how cold it is out. But to do that, we can just do simple little things, like chop a few things down, break that up. Just get ready for tonight, really. Oh yeah, sure, we'll break that down too. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we'll go toss this reclaimed wood into the cabinet, just beside the stove there. And we'll head out and see what it's like again. Now that we got the pry bar, we have a lot of trunks we can start searching through to find anything else there might be. Oh yeah, see, it's so nice and warm we don't even... We are... oh, there is a wolf over there, so we'll just give a little width to him. Oh yeah, it's so warm we don't have to worry about actually losing any of our heat. Oh, we'll pop that open. Nothing for all that. Actually, I can't remember if there was a locked locker in here or not. We'll take a look just in case there was. It doesn't hurt just to go back in case there's anything you missed. 
Yeah, there we go. Get that nice. There we go. That'll Ooh, come in handy. That's a nice backup pair. Of oh, and a lantern. That'll be nice. I was going to say, we have a nice backup pair now for if anything happens to our muck locks. That one's already gone through. There's nothing in there. Went through those. I'm pretty sure we went through these. Yeah. Yeah, so that was everything through there. Head back out and keep looking around. The gas station wasn't too far off, so maybe we'll try heading for that. We could even bring some of our stuff out over to the other place, but it's just that it's so remote, or we'd just be kind of pedaling around in the same spot over and over again. I'd really like to at least try to get a little change of scenery. So, we'll start making our way for that gas station, pop open what trunks we can. There we go. Oops, some scrap metal, we will take that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've been in here, but we'll take a second look just in case. Oh, maybe not. Can you look in the brief? Well, nothing in there. Uh, nothing in the stove to check. No, no, I guess we didn't make it quite this far. I think we are just about getting here when one of the wolves what found we us. Here? Some more matches. That's really nice. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Pop that open. Uh, nothing, I'm afraid. Uh, nothing there. Yeah, kind of locking out on this. Oh, well, I say that, but we do have another cooking pot. Now, with all the venison we had, we can just take that back with us. Ooh. Excellent. Soda, soda. Yeah, with all the venison we have, we can just take that back with us, and that way we can have a lot of it cooking on the go at once. Anything in here? Yeah, we'll take those. Ah, might as well. Ooh, climbing socks. Actually, those are probably pretty nice and warm. Ah, we'll put them on. Change. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. A little extra warm. And we'll just do a little browse upstairs in case there is anything. Um, a light shell. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Light outer layer meant to protect from wind and water. No real warmth value. Useful when paired under with a decent under layer. I guess I'll help for our windproofing. I still think we're probably better with what we already got. A few little things there, some cloth. I think we'll just head on out and keep exploring. I know the wolves do tend to kind of have little patrol areas. They'll stick around. Generally, it's certain buildings or certain locations. More than anything else. If they are pretty far, we might even see if we can spot a rabbit and try to take on one. Two of them. That open. God, it's just all the way the wind is making noise is really getting me on edge of it. Just because it sounds like it's footsteps almost when it's banging and hitting stuff. Like something blowing in the wind is really making quite a bit of noise. Um, oh, I see a carcass out here. It isn't cold enough to warrant needing to be too conservative about how long we're out, so we can probably stay out in it. And I doubt there's any meat on the- I heard something again. I'm really getting jumpy now. Yeah, there's not- Ah, oh, you know what? Yeah, for that little bit, I think we will take that. Hungry again. But we'll take that. I think we will head up this hill, see what this little building is. We won't worry about that rabbit. Ooh. Actually, we'll get these first, because these are more birch saplings. So we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. And we'll take that. That's a wonderful find. So we'll 
take all that with us, and we'll put it all up in the house and let that start curing there. Oh, yeah, we can get in this one. That's nice. Anything around back just before we sneak on in? Not really. Oh. Yeah, we'll just do a quick peek since we're out here. And then it's just back to the house to store everything away. Oh, a little tired. Yeah, we're probably hauling around quite a bit of stuff. Oh, no. Oh, another hunting rifle. We'll take that and that. Yeah, I really think I gotta turn down the difficulty. I need to drop because, something. Oh, a sewing primer. Everything you ever want to know about maintaining your clothing. Researching will improve your mending skill. We can do that while we're waiting on some of our food to cook at home. Some leather, some tools. Yeah, we're really doing pretty good here. So I think that's everything for now. We'll just make it back to our house and then enjoy our nice little night in paradise, basically. Well, I say paradise, and yet we come out to a windstorm and some snow blowing pretty hard. I guess it's to each their own. Everyone has their own idea of paradise. As long as you can dress for the cold, it's actually not too bad. It's when you're not really dressed to be able to handle it that it is just such a pain to deal with. In game and real life. Living up in Canada, as much as we like to say we are used to the cold, winters still knock us on our butts a lot. Before we win that one. I don't know many people you can really talk to who will ever be comfortable with it being minus 20 or minus 30 degrees Celsius. And yeah, I am sticking to the Celsius scale. Canadian through and through. Oh, god damn you. Okay, can I? I can, but I'm still pretty heavy. So maybe we'll try going the long way around. I hear him. Let's see if we can get into the house. Ah! ah! Even if we were going a little slow, we still got in without him. Nice. So let's open the fridge to drop off that bit of meat we found. And we'll let all this... Ah, where is it? Oh, crap. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we'll let that and that. And those. There we go. Nice and back somewhere warm. We are pretty tired, and that's also because of what we're being weighed down by. So we'll just transfer all we can out. No, oh, excuse me. The rifle, the hatchet, the knife, the stones. Uh, the lamp oil, the pry bar, the duels, the storm lantern. It's, oh, that's everything that can hold. And let me just go into the camp craft there. So we'll get this on the stove here. Now, you know what? We'll bring all these forward. You there. You there. And you there. When the long dark first. need to eat soon. Okay, yeah. Thank you for interrupting me there, pal. But anyway, when the long dark first released. There's only one region you actually were trying to survive in. So although it could get a pretty repetitive, you still were dealing with a lot of random elements, like the wolves and the deer. Although, and for those people who have played the game, Fluffy was a guaranteed pain in the early game. People are probably wondering what that means. Well, there is one spot in the game where in the earliest builds, there was a guaranteed wolf that would spawn inside the building. And it caught so many people by surprise, and it was the death of so many people. I wonder if they actually ever brought out statistics, or if they could figure out how many people died to Fluffy as he got nicknamed. I know it has to be quite a bit. Okay, so we want wood matches for that little extra there. No, we're not going to burn the book yet. We will go around and try to find some more books. I'm pretty sure there was a lot more in here somewhere. Come on. Yeah, 
yeah, because we're not leaving the house again for today. We've already done our searching. Oh, another sewing kit. Could end up being useful. I really gotta look around a lot better. There are probably all kinds of things I've missed. Oh, where was that room? Oh, was this it? Yeah, so this is the stacks of papers, cardboard boxes. Any books, though? Not really. Ah, shoot. I think, I guess all of our books were back at the other place, huh? Oh, a thin wool sweater. I could use this. I really missed a lot of stuff out here. And there's nothing really in there. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to try with a bit of a lower start chance. We will save the accelerant, make the most of what we got. And we it's not like we're in too much of a rush to be able to go through and get exactly what we need. Oh, actually I do have a book still. Okay. I'll put those there, that there, that there. Keep the hat. Oh. Ah, right. Um. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if we actually just drop the clothing right here, to be honest. It's right by our storage spot. There we go. So, let's go over here and start that fire up. There we go. Yeah, so I think what we'll do, we'll probably have one more episode after this, and then we're probably going to swap over to Long Dark Story mode. Just because we are so close to the redone story releasing, I don't want to... I want to try to get a smooth swap over, almost as if we're just playing the same game in a way, in the same series, there hasn't been any change. This was the series I wanted to start the channel out with, and just how the timing has worked up... Oh, let's quickly add some firewood before that runs too low. This is the series that I wanted to start the channel off with, because it is basically everything that I'm going to try to push for in the channel. It's sh showing you the strategies to survive, highlighting how the developers really put so much time and effort into it, and just the fun experience it can really be. So we'll only research for an hour. Yeah, so we'll take that, take that, take that. Uh, we'll get the can starting to boil some water. I think, let's see. Uh, where's our food? There we go. We'll transfer two of those over. I could eat anything right now. Yeah, you're going to be eating venison in just a moment. Now, this is probably a wasteful thing to do, cooking all of our venison at once, but I just want to keep a stockpile of food with us. So, we're going to go into food, and there's our venison. We're going to enjoy that. There we go. And we're also going to get some water now. There we go. Yeah, so how long do we have? Another hour on that, so we have no rush to worry about getting that in. I think we might keep this episode just a nice little short, and once this night's done, we'll probably end the day, or the episode there too. I know some of you guys are probably, oh, would you just start being a little more fluent? Would you stop making all these little blunders when you speak? Hey, I'm sorry, I'm getting into the role a bit, okay? I have a lot to learn, a lot to kind of pick up of how things will go. But it's just having our own little pace with it, and just enjoying things as we can. So we'll add some more there. Um, maybe we'll just pass time till it's ready. Oh, do I have to hold? Oh, no, just like that, and we'll take, we'll take, no, this will only take 10 minutes, so we'll put in that two, and you know what, I am feeling, I heard his stomach rumble, so we'll take another one of the cooked ones we have and just eat that, there we go, yeah, that's good, it's a little bit longer on that, yeah, I guess it doesn't hurt. Three hours to go there. Uh, nah, we won't go breaking that down for cloth. We will take out some of the reclaimed wood. Not sure why to... I feel so tired. Uh, we're, we're going to run that meter right down to nothing. 
I want to make sure we get that meter right down to the very bottom before we worry about that. Oh, so take that, and that, and that. So that's everything cooked there. Let's swap that over. And how much more do we have to cook? We got one, two, three. Oh, let's get that going. There we go. And there we go. Just leave that going along like that. Oh, another cooking pot. That's nice to find. Yeah, I really gotta keep a better eye out for things. It's like missing that cooking pot. I wonder if I've... Uh, that's rancid, but we'll still try cooking it. It may be able to, but more than likely, it's probably going to anyway. And just take a little rest down and watch enjoy the fire as everything cooks along. So, where do I think the series is going to go? Well, I know I'm probably going to break things up a little bit. The Long Dark Story Mode, it is one that's going to take probably a while to do. But before I jump right into that, I think I'm going to switch us over to the Flame and the Flood. I think we're going to do the story run of that because... I know approximately how long it should take. I'm guessing it might be around maybe six-ish episodes? I don't think it'll be too much longer than that if each episode is about half an hour-ish or so. That should probably get it done. And that way it changes us a little bit for survival tactics, and that way we can come back to the long dark nice, fresh, and eager to see what it's like. So just a few more minutes there. Just going to huddle up here for warmth. I guess we could even take some of this off. Yeah, we're pretty warm, so we'll take off what we can just to save on some of the heat rating there. So that's still got a little while to go. I'll just quickly stash all of the clothing we have. Um, Ah, you know what? Maybe I'll even put it in one of the cabinets. There we go. We'll put it up here. We're safe. So, we'll toss that over. That, that, that. That. That, that. Uh, yeah, I guess that too. Yeah, it's still really nice and warm here. But, yeah, because this is going to be a more survival-oriented channel, I don't want just to be an overload of it. I want to kind of space it out so that way it's a nice, steady progression through things. And we'll put in another leader. There we go. I think once all the venison cooks, we'll just do the rabbit, we'll store that, and then we'll get some sleep for the night. Now, if you guys know any other survival games, or just any games you think I might enjoy, or you'd enjoy seeing gang played on the channel, just leave comments and just let me know. I'm always looking for something else to play and enjoy. And one of the things about the survival genre is sometimes they get pushed back a little bit and they aren't as easily brought forward in popularity. Things like The Long Dark, which is... The Long Dark and Subnautica, too. Subnautica is another wonderful game. We will be doing that, but I want to time that one a little closer to when we're going to have the new expansion release. Because I know that's going to be a lot of fun. The base game was so enjoyable and so just wonderful. But yeah, I'm gushing about this whole genre. I think the reason because deep down we all kind of have that roots we can kind of go back to. That survival kind of element that everybody knows about a bit. So we'll take that. And we'll put that away. It kind of just back, harkens back to a time we all stemmed from, and I think we all instinctually have with us still. I don't know what the heck that noise was. I'll check. Maybe it's the Aurora again? I don't know. Oh, right. I gotta... Oops. The rabbits aren't even cleaned yet. That's why I can't cook them. I can't just toss a whole rabbit into a pot and cook it like that, unfortunately. So we'll take the knife... I think we're going to have to add some firewood, just keep that going, because I know it's going to be a little while. 
So we'll add that and that in there. There we go. And let's harvest you. Ah, shoot. How long for the water? Ah, you know what? We have plenty of water. I'm not even going to worry about that. So let's get everything we can and harvest that. And let's see how long it'll take to cook that rabbit. 30 minutes? Okay, not bad at all. And, you know what? How much? You know what? We will. I don't see the rabbit. Well, I can see that little bit of meat, that point two, being lost. But that's not really enough to warrant anything. Oh, no, we were able to save that and that. Nice. Okay. And we'll drop this to start curing. Just a little extra gut and the pelts. And we'll toss that bit of food in here. And I think what we'll keep is a... Oh, rancid rabbit. I don't know why... We, why did I start cooking that? Well, we'll try again just in case. I don't know if it'll actually really even do anything. I think we'll toss over a bit of that, just so that way when we wake up we have some fresh food. Ah, we'll eat that just to have. Okay. So that's still going for another couple of hours, but we won't worry about that. We're just going to head up and get some sleep. We've run this guy pretty ragged for the day. So let's just go and snack on that. If we do eat too much, we're, yeah, we were able to have all of it, but you will only eat until you're at the maximum amount of your of your bar, so you don't have to worry about actually wasting too much. And let's sleep for, ah, uh, we'll do nine hours. I think that's a nice amount to start us off with. So since the game saved right there, we're going to leave this episode here for now. Thank you guys very much for joining us again on our little adventures in the long dark. I have been Survival Vis, and I hopefully will see you guys again in the next video. So as always, survivors, take care and stay alive.